Fox News alert. Moments ago, there was an outburst at the Palestine, Ohio town hall. Listen. The people of East Palestine showed up to the town hall thinking the company that dropped a toxic bomb on their town would be there. But Norfolk Southern and its cowardly CEO, Alan Shaw, backed out. They're hiding from the residents after turning their town into little Chernobyl. In primetime, talk to the people in East Palestine. Listen. Are you experiencing any symptoms? A little lightheaded. And my lips did get all tingly yesterday when we went to clean up the house. It smells terrible up around the house. And there is black residue on the picture surface stuff. I hit a cloud or something down in there. That it put me in, I went to the hospital. It was worried about me having a, I've been so stressed out. They, they put me on an EKG thinking I'm going to have a freaking heart attack because of my stress being so high. I want to know what I sucked in. I, I just feel like when I'm outside and the wind's blowing, try not to breathe in too heavily. <laughs> After about 15, 20 minutes, I, my throat felt like there was gravel in it. I mean, it was just, um, I had a sore throat since then. I, I vomit within 10 minutes of being in that home. The air is still terrible, absolutely terrible. I will not take my children in there because of that. Yeah, yeah. Burning of the eyes, trouble breathing. Um, and then I just get nauseous within 10 minutes. Um, you know, my husband popped in to try to get anything, you know, phone charger, things that they say are safe. Um, you, you cannot get the smell out. It does not come out. But my kids' friends said they lost cats. They, you know, their pets have been, you know, sick. Um, and then we have kids' friends who have rashes. And my daughter was one that also had a real bad looks almost like a sunburn. EPA is letting us, you know, giving us num or not giving us any numbers. So they're just saying that the air is clean. Uh, we know, we've heard that before, 9-11, um, the water was fine in Flint, Michigan, uh, different things. So that is in the back of your head. They told me they were going to do an air quality test. Never got a call back three times. Three different agents from that number said they were coming to do an air quality test. You know, if I could, I would definitely move. I'm old. I'm not ready to die, but... <laughs> I hope it, I don't have any after effects is what worries me. Ohio Congressman Bill Johnson represents East Palestine. So, Congressman, you're there uh, at the town hall situation. What is the mood like after the CEO didn't show up? Uh, people are very frustrated. People are angry, Jesse. Uh, they came here for answers, and, and they're legitimately frustrated uh, that the company that uh, caused this accident is not here to be accountable. But I can tell you what, I am here, and I'm going to stay here. I was here on Monday. I walked around with the mayor, the, the fire chief, uh, some of the emergency crews, the EPA, uh, representatives of uh, Norfolk Southern. Uh, I'm going to stay here, and if, if the, the railroad's not here tonight, but I'm taking their questions, and anybody that's got a question for Norfolk Southern that they can't get to them tonight, I will take their question and make sure that they get an answer. Well, I have a question, if you could ask Norfolk Southern. Are they going into people's homes and making them sign liability waivers in order to test the water? You know, I haven't heard that. I haven't seen that. I'm going to ask about that when I talk to, uh, when I get out of here tonight. Tonight's the first time that I've heard that. But I have not heard that from, uh, from any of the residences here. Can I give you another question? Can you ask the EPA if they sure. did their own testing? Because we're hearing that Norfolk Southern hired a private contractor to do all the testing. And you know what it means when they hire yeah. a private contractor and they get the results that they want. Yeah, I will go back and ask the EPA that. It's my understanding that the EPA has overseen uh, all of the testing. Uh, I mean, they're the ones responsible for enforcement of the Clean Air Act and the Clean Water Act. So legitimately, they should be the ones that's uh, pulling the trigger 
on the testing and validating that the testing is being done uh, properly. But I, uh, the regional director is here. I understand the EPA administrator is going to be here tomorrow. Uh, so yes, I will, I will find out about that. But it's the first time tonight that I've heard anything about waivers of liability. Okay, well, please send my love to everybody in the town and they have our support and we're not going to stop covering the story. And, and thank you, Congressman, for what you're doing. You seem to be really on top of it. And, and thanks for communicating everything to us and communicating our questions to the people. Jesse, thanks for giving me a chance to, to be on. We'll All go right. back in and continue the work. All right. Please do. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.